when he offends against her and you don't do anything decisive, it tells him that it's okay and it tells her that she's not of value. Now, that's a very toxic situation. Yes. He even says he does it in part because he knows nothing's going to happen, mm -hmm. that he's going to get away with it. And it says to her, I'm of no value. And victims of sexual molestation, if you don't get the help that you need, the risk of you being victimized again is as much as a thousand percent more than the general population. As much as a thousand percent more. Because you define yourself in a different way and you conduct yourself in a different way. You accept different things. And that just can't happen. So what you're talking about here that happened between a brother and a sister in their preteens is not something that had a beginning and an end. It's still going on today. And for her to have to sit at a dinner table with the, the individual that molested her and pretend that nothing ever happened is absolutely absurd and ridiculous and cannot go on. Wait. Okay, so, so Addison keeps saying that she's uncomfortable around me, but when I'm over at my mom's house, when she's at my dad's house, she asks me to hang out with her all the time, and I don't understand that. If she's uncomfortable with me, then tell me to stay the hell away. She is damaged, and she is confused. She loves her brother and hates what he did. So, Mr. Know-it-all, you need to start pulling your head out and learn something that you don't know. I don't think I'm a know-it-all at all. Well, your arrogance is unbelievable. You're going to lecture her about what she does being inconsistent? Seriously? I don't think so. But I will give you the answer. She loves her brother. She hates what he did. That is not inconsistent. I can tell you this. You are sitting next to a predator. And until he does what he needs to do. And here's the thing. Let me tell you, even a short-term treatment program preteen would have had a profound effect on him. But he didn't get it. He still can go through a very structured treatment program and reduce the likelihood of his reoffending 95%. I realized that I hurt my sister, and that hurts me. I, I have nights where I sit and cry over this. I feel so terrible about what I did that some days I just want to take a gun and blow, it, blow my brains out. It's that hard. And it's like nobody sees that. But you did it in the first place, so you can't really say people should feel bad for me because I really feel bad. No, you I'm made... Not... Okay, no, 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 no stop. No, I'm not, you made the no, decision no, to hurt me. No. You made the decision to hurt other people, and you need to live with that guilt because that was your fault. What I'm telling you is treatment is available for you. I would predict a good outcome for you. You're smart. Thank you. And you can use that intellect to your benefit if you'll do the program. 